Now it's time for How To, brought to you by Outdoor Edge Knives, Field Proven, and Razor Sharp to get the job done fast. You know, for your Outdoor Edge How To segment, you know, I've shown people how to break down an elk literally in minutes, less than 10 minutes, and that's two hind quarters, two front quarters, back straps, and tenderloin. But I wanted to show it up close so you can see exactly where we're making those cuts. So today I'm using the Razor Pro. Pretty awesome, I just put a brand new uh, blade in there and you'll see exactly what we're gonna do. In Colorado, evidence of sex is required naturally attached. So, Jeb's holding this leg up. You can see if that hind quarter's up, you can see this flap of skin. So I'm gonna go right through here and just literally follow that line. So then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna lift up his testicles here because you have to keep those in Colorado on on the carcass. So you can see what I've done here is now I've just followed that line all the way along. That's it. Now I'm gonna come over here, Ryan will move and we'll show you what to do over here. So now, since I've got that testicle, I'm trying to reach around here so everybody can see, I'm cutting right almost between this bull's legs right here and I'm going all the way up. As I cut through here, it's easier for Jeb to move it. Now, as we're folding him back, you want to be careful not to cut through the intestines. And that little pop you heard is that is where the ball joint is, right there. You see that? So we're trying to go slow so you can see exactly what I've done here. I'm following the gut line right here. This is the intestines. I'm going right along the edge of the hip right here. Okay, that's the, the pelvic the pelvis right here and I'm going right along the edge of that literally angling my knife and you'll see here's this joint and now I've just released the ball from the joint and I'm just gonna keep going right along there so pull his leg forward and again you can see this separating right from the pelvis right here so this right there is the pelvis so we're taking all the meat off this animal as we're going. Now, you can do it by yourself. Again, right here, you can see the bone. I'm following that right along. And again, we're trying to do this slow so you can see exactly where we're going here. Now, you can see the edge of the, you see the bone right here? I'm going right along the edge of it so we get all that meat. And it's literally that simple to take the hind quarter off and out. Now again, I'm going really slow here so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Couple advantages, and there it is removed. Jeb's gonna slide that back, but if you take a look at this, there's a bunch of advantages to doing it this way. One, it's quicker. Two, by leaving the hair on, and we'll show you in a minute, Jeb's just slid that back, laid it hair side down so it's nice and easy. Now, for people that see me do that really fast, I think some people think, oh, there's a lot of meat left on there. Take a look at this, Ryan. That is your pelvis right here. That's the ball joint. All this meat has been taken, the intestines there. And what Jeb has here, we've got all the meat off that hind quarter. There's the ball that was taken, and I did it all using that Razor Pro Outdoor Edge. Now we're gonna go up, and we're gonna close up. We're gonna show you how to take off this front leg, which is really easy. All right, so Jeb's gonna lift up this front, and again here, I'm just gonna go where the skin stretches tight, and I'm just gonna start working right along here. And again, I wanna try and keep all this meat, because that's all good stuff there. And you can see the membrane, no meat here. I'm just cutting right through this, and I'm following it up all the way through cutting through that hide, and then I'm gonna cut down a little bit to make sure I get some of this meat along the scapula. Now Jeb's helping me out. You can do this by yourself, super easy too, but he's helping me out by giving me a little pressure on that, on that front quarter. Then literally all you have to do is go through and cut this hide, and you have got the front quarter off that elk. Let's slide that back. I'm gonna make a cut through the hide right here. 
about the middle of the body all the way through and then I'm just gonna peel this back all I'm gonna do is open this up so I can get to this awesome big chunk of back strap all right so I'm gonna take it down there's the spine right there and we're gonna go past that a little bit so now I've got a little bit of a table to work with and then I'm gonna work along the edge of this back strap I usually go along the ribs and I actually end up coming right into some of this neck too just to make that chunk of meat even bigger and all holding together at the same time so you'll see I'm kind of there's the ribs right there you hear the ribs and I'm just following along there to get that started on the direction that I want it started now when you come in the back here you want to make sure you don't go through that abdominal wall there but you want to get all that meat so you want to go right along the edge and that's what I'm doing here so stay all right along the edge there and then you can go all the way up to this hip cut in there to make sure you get all all that wonderful meat then if you want it to go even faster what I'll do is once I get this going staying right along the edge of those ribs once I get this going I'm gonna make a cut right along the edge of the spine here all the way down I'll slide back so I can stay with it all the way down to there and you can see I'm actually lifting and reaching back almost behind that pelvis a little bit to make sure I can get all that great meat behind that pelvic saddle right there so Jeb's gonna pull them just a little bit and then literally I'm just gonna follow along the edge of the ribs and the backbone right there as I'm going along here Jeb's helping me out by holding that back strap not only out of the dirt but by putting a little pressure on it so I can take it all the way down now we're gonna go right along the spine there and we've got all of it right there hold that up Jeb Look at that this. That makes some great steaks, doesn't it? Look at the size of that elk backstrap right there. All right, so now we basically, I'll let you hold that. You can lay it on the top of one of those other quarters. So now, here's the pelvis right here. We've gone in behind that, taking that backstrap all the way up into here. There's the pelvis. Here's the ribs all the way along. Now, the other pieces of meat I like to take, or here on the neck and also some of the brisket meat but first I'm going to show you an easy way to get the tenderloin out and a lot of people ask about this one because it's a hard one to see when I'm just doing it so what I'm doing here is I'm cutting you can see right in front of the hip here short ribs. the short ribs yeah exactly I'm going right along the edge here and I'm going to push in with my hand now what you'll see is that's the tenderloin right there that's where it lies now you can either gut the animal take the extra time to to gut it and pull that out through there or you can put your hand in here and cut literally what I'm doing is I'm cutting right along the inside of those ribs right there you can kind of see what I'm doing there I'm cutting right along the inside of them then I'm gonna push this intestine back and I'm gonna cut it right back here. Let me move positions there on Ryan. So here's that beautiful tenderloin, and I'm gonna come right in through here. And again, a sharp knife makes all the difference in the world. And I'm just gonna start slowly working that tenderloin out through the back right here. I've got a little piece of sinew right there. I'll cut that out. And we're getting him all the way out by just taking my time and working that beautiful piece of tenderloin out of that animal. All right, 
And Jeb, you should have it right there. Oh, there we go. Look at that tenderloin. Well, if you're in the field and you're gonna get a bull mounted, then of course you're gonna cape him. And Jeb brought up a great point. Somebody's gonna get it mounted, they may not do it just like that. If you're gonna get it mounted, of course, take the cape off, run that cut all the way down the center line, take the, you know, take the whole cape off, and then do what I just showed you. If you're in the back country, if you're gonna carry it all out on your back. The other thing I would do additionally is you can either bone that meat off the quarters, and you can also take the knuckles off. You know what I mean? Just take all the edible meat, but there's it's no a reason. Less, a lot less for you to carry at that point. Right. No reason to carry all that heavy bone out. One of the other questions I get asked a lot when people see me do it, or watch Ryan or Zach or Jenzy or one of the other guides do it, is how do you guys take the head without saws or axes? Well, there's an atlas joint right behind the back of a bull's head. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to cut basically the throat of that elk all the way up to the spine. And then I'll show you how to pull the head forward and how to take the head off quickly and easily. So I'm going to start right here and literally I'm just going to put that knife right in there and I'm just going to cut through that thick neck hide right here all the way up until I hit the edge of the vertebrae. Okay. There we go. So now We'll show you what you do next. So what I've done here, you can see I've cut through the bottom part of the neck up toward the back of the ears until I hit the spine. Jeb's gonna rock this bull up on his nose for me. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come through. I'm gonna see if I can connect my cuts here all the way around. So now you can see what I'm doing is I'm cutting through this bull. And I usually just draw a line. <laughs> there he is right at the base of the ears and you can see where I just got my knife through right there and basically that's all I need to do there and then I'm just going to work on him now right through here there you go Jeb Jeb's going to give me a little bit of pressure right there and I'm just going to keep cutting all the muscle off around that elk right there and you can see how that's can you see that ryan how that's opening up on camera there so you can see where that is opening up right here now we're going to take him right here and you can hear that and see that head separating right there and then i'm like all i'm going to do is cut through here to totally take down, doesn't matter what it is, a moose, an elk, a deer, a bear, you don't need anything more than a three inch outdoor edge. This is the Razor Pro. I've used the Razor Light a bunch. But if you know exactly where to cut, just like taking this bull's head off at the Atlas joint right behind the ears, you can take the whole thing down really quickly. Even joints like on the leg, and I'll show you how to take a leg joint off easily. There's no reason to use saws. I see sometimes guys using Saws. Big saws, yeah, and they're getting through. bone chips in their meat and everything else. This is a lot cleaner way to take an elk down quickly and efficiently.